Hey everyone, Chunks of Earth here again. I'm inspired to do some more videos of crap that makes me angry. You know, I gotta admit, that Steve Shives guy with his five stupid things, I really like his videos. I like his style, and I, I wish I could do something similar to that. Anyway, okay, I pay zero attention to sports. I'm a former Miami Dolphins fan. I was five years old during the perfect season in 72 when Super Dan Marino came in. Um, I really started just not feeling the love anymore. I didn't like the way the team's direction went. I didn't like the play calling. I didn't like the changes that they made to the game that seemed to allow teams to win over a pass interference call or or it just seemed like the referees were more in charge than the players were and I slowly became less and less interested in, in things so the last couple of years I've paid very little attention to sports I'm a big hockey fan but even then we've got an NHL lockout now and with the economy the way it is it, I'm hard-pressed to support any professional sports organization organization that makes millions of dollars per employee to go out and have fun. I mean, they work hard, but I'm not convinced that they deserve that level of money, and neither do the owners. And whatever, that's a different story. That's neither here nor there. What my point is is that uh, I lost interest in baseball when the Marlins did a lockout, and then they Wayne Heisinga bought a bunch of players, and he basically bought the World Series, and then dismantled the team, and then they did it again. So all sorts of, of unethical behavior takes place in the professional sports world, where you're supposed to be professional, you're supposed to have integrity and ethics, and and be a role model at least at some point of you know professional. That's what I assume the word professional means: is you act accordingly, and and. Few people do that. Chris Cluey, when he talked about the the gay marriage thing, and he really stuck it to that lawmaker. That was that was impressive. I did read up on that, so I'm I'm on the sidelines, so to speak, pun intended, I guess. So anyway, when I heard about this NFL referee lockout, I I had to laugh because I found it to be completely ridiculous that these people that they have a hard job I gotta admit that and they miss a lot of calls and it's frustrating to watch them ruin games for me if, to me the games were ruined by the referee so I stopped watching so they're bitching that they're not getting paid enough right okay okay whatever I know they make a pretty good salary I don't have numbers for you but I know that they make a lot more than I do to run up and down a field and raise their arms and throw flags uh, on any given Sunday. So in accordance with their lockout, we had scabs come in, replacement referees from college or something. I don't know where they got them, but they were horrible, according to reports. Horrible. And and I didn't watch because I'm sure I would have been even more disappointed in the quality of entertainment that these people are getting paid a lot of money to provide. A lot of money. To provide. So I just read recently that uh, something happened in the Seattle Seahawks game, I guess against the Green Bay Packers. I think that's the two teams. I could be wrong. I'm sorry. I didn't do a lot of research before doing this because I got an, a thing on the top of my head called an idea. A little light bulb popped up. And uh, apparently, Wisconsin's governor, Scott Walker, another guy that it's unusual how many Republicans can't look you in the eye. They got some kind of crazy strombosis or, or whatever that cross-eyed thing is. And they just can't look at you straight. Um, I don't know what it is. Huckabee's got it. Just, I don't know what it is. Anyway, so Scott Walker came out and he was upset at the NFL because of Green Bay had lost this game based on a decision of a referee. Wouldn't be the first time. And he demanded that the Unions settle with the referees and get them back. The officials, I'm sorry, let's call them officials. It sounds more official. And then the president weighed in, apparently. And President Obama was upset because his entertainment is being compromised. Urgh. 
and that's a priority entertainment over people not to me so I thought to myself Scott Walker the union busting governor who was upset at public employees who work to provide a high quality of life to the people that live in in their state and a whole bunch of others Rick Scott my governor Blinky is trying to destroy collective bargaining and there's many others I think in Kansas and Ohio cases you know I mean all around wherever there's a Republican they're trying to ruin collective bargaining because those people mostly vote Democratic because Democratic supports labor um, you know living wage so it's okay for unions to negotiate with officials when it comes to entertainment but the people that provide safety, security, and quality of life, they're parasites sucking off the government. Teat. And, and they shouldn't have that right. Does anybody see how the priorities are screwed up here? I just... I would like somebody to explain that. Anyway... I'm Chunks of Earth, and so are you. I got this really cool shirt from Kirk420. He's awesome. And I tend to ramble, but you got my point. Where is the respect for the people? Where is it? Peace.